Cece, I am truly blessed to be standing here by your side today. I thank God that we met in a little chapel just over five years ago, and I was immediately drawn to that beautiful smile. For as long as I've known you, I've always admired your love for the Lord, your humble and passionate heart, your drive, and how much love you have for your family and friends. You are my best friend, my biggest supporter, and by far the best lead singer on any car ride. You're the one I want to raise a family with, and grow old together. Thank you for loving me and inspiring me to be a better man, for challenging me and believing in me when I don't believe in myself. I promise to encourage you, to laugh with you in times of joy, and comfort you in times of sadness. I vow to express my love not only in words, but through my actions. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you're yet to become. I will care for you, grow with you, and dream with you. I will love, honor, and cherish you always. And when you get cold, I promise to be there to warm you up. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to love you loyally, to protect you constantly, to respect you, and I promise to cherish your heart. Today, I give you all that I am, and I choose you today and every day. You are my love and my dream come true. I love you so much. Scotty, from the moment we met, I knew that you were someone special. I quickly fell in love with your heart of gold, how you love your family and friends so well, and truly put others before yourself. God's love is patient, kind, gentle, self-sacrificial, protecting, and unfailing. For my whole life, I've prayed that my future husband would emulate this type of godly love. And Scotty, God answered my prayers when he gave me you. You exemplify what it means to live humbly and selflessly, and you inspire me and so many others to want to live this way too. You have this joy that is so contagious, and when I'm with you, no matter what I'm going through, you can always make me smile, and I can't help but share in your joy. What I love most about you is how you love the Lord, and desire to obey Him and follow His calling for your life in everything that you do, and how you encourage me to pursue Him above all else. Scotty, you're my safe place and my shoulder to cry on, and when I can't see past my own fears and anxieties, you remind me of who I am in Christ. I can't wait to take on every single adventure of this life and to raise a family with you one day and to forever be your biggest fan. I vow to love and respect you when we disagree and to support you in chasing after your dreams. I vow to put your needs and desires above my own. I vow to never take one single day with you for granted and to cherish all of the little moments in life. I vow to push us both towards Christ in everything that we do together. I fall more in love with you every single day, and I'll continue to fall in love with you over and over again. It'll be the greatest honor to grow old with you and forever stand by your side as your wife. I love you forever, Scotty. It is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
Growing up, I think we can all agree that we spend a considerable amount of time thinking about the person that we're going to marry. But for me, I also spent time imagining the man that my sister was going to end up with and what he would be like and look like, how he could ever possibly deserve her, and at times how he could possibly put up with her. <laughs> and that face that you try to picture in your head is so indecipherable for so long. But as you get older and relationships become more and more serious, it starts to become clearer. And Scotty, I knew it was gonna be you very early on that you would be the face watching Cece walk down the aisle in white. I've watched their relationship flourish, be tested, grow even stronger, and produce more love and joy in five years than some people experience in a lifetime. Scoot, as of today, I get to call you my brother, but the truth is I've thought of you as my brother for a lot, a lot longer than that. I love you in the way that you love Cece, and I couldn't be happier that you're the person I got to write this speech about. Scott is one of the kindest, most generous, caring, genuine guys I've ever met. Over these years, I've also watched his love, commitment, and honest relationship with Cece blossom. Every time these two were in the same room, it always got a little bit brighter. And their smiles, both of them, I, I can't believe your teeth can stay so white for so long. <laughs> I just can't wait to watch you two have your love just continue to blossom, grow over these next infinite amount of years. and. I've just been blessed this far to see the start of the relationship and seeing where you guys are at now. So the year was 1996. It was the fifth day of September, Austin, Texas. It's 100 degrees out, right? It's 11, 12 in the morning when this beautiful baby girl came into our lives. And I remember thinking then as I held her for the first time, that I'll do everything I can to protect my baby girl's heart. And what we both love the most about you is that we know you feel the same way we do, that you'll do everything you can to protect her heart. So let's raise a glass. Scotty and Cece.